The 2022 Champion of Champions coverage on StallionESearch.com is brought to you by the Stallion Roster at Lazy E Ranch in Guthrie, Oklahoma. And hello again, everyone. I'm Greg Thompson of StallionESearch.com here at Los Alamitos looking at some of the top contenders going into the Champion of Champions this year. Headlining the field this year is the defending and back-to-back -back winner, a political Pence, seen here storming home in 2020 in the Champion of Champions, only to come back in 2021 and do it again, pulling off the repeat in this prestigious Grade 1 event to talk about the 2022 campaign that has led to another potential three-peat in this year's edition. Um, you know, after winning the Champion of Champions last year, we, we wanted to map out a, a, a you know, a, a schedule for him for this year. And so we decided he came out of the Champion Champions great. We decided to go to the Winter Championship and uh, we ran him in there. We were fortunate enough to win that. And then we shipped him back to Oklahoma and turned him out. We gave him a break and uh, freshened him up. And then uh, we sent him to Rio Dosa and uh, to our team up there. And uh, they started getting him ready. We've had him there the last three years. and We've never ran him at Rio Dosa. This year we did. There was an um, opportunity to run a stakes race on Labor Day weekend. We ran him in that race uh, for his first race after the break. He ran super. Um, then we shipped him here to Los Alamitos, uh, ran him in the Robert Boniface, and he was really sharp. He ran a great race. And after that, we had quite a bit of time to the champion of champions, and uh, we continue to maintain training just like we do. We pony the horse a lot, we keep him fresh, keep him pretty happy. I went up to the Z-Wayne trials. He was doing good. I decided to run him in those trials because I thought he'd get more out of that than he would out of a work. Um, I knew, you know, for the champion of champions, it's going to have to be razor sharp. Uh, he put in a great performance in the Z Wayne trials. He came out of that super good, and uh, we're leading up well to this race. Next on the preview, we go to the barn of Dean Fry, who trains reigning world champion Danger, who's coming off of a win in Indiana in the Bank of America Challenge Championship, going into the finals here at Los Alamitos. Well, he's been training up really good. You know, um, his first start of the year kind of got, caused himself a little trouble in the Leo. Then he went on to win the championship at Remington. We took him to Minnesota, got him qualified for the big challenge championship, which is in Indiana. Took him to New Mexico on the Albuquerque Championship, and then we uh, took him on up to Indiana and won that. We're going to try to win another one Saturday. Another horse vying for the spot as top contender is Heath Taylor trained in Presum. The multiple Grade One winner rattled off victories in the in the Grade One Vessels Maturity. Presum out wide has charged a long way clear. This horse really sets the pulse racing. And then put in another smashing performance in the Grade 1 Go Man Go Handicap. And then ran up against a political pence in the Grade 1 Robert Boniface Invitational in which he could not get past the reigning Champion of Champions winner in the stretch. We were able to talk to Riadosa Hall of Fame trainer Heath Taylor about this talented four-year-old. You know, impress him. He's settled in here all year. He acts like he'd been here all his life. You know, he eats phenomenal here, rests really well here. Um, you know, the horse seems to really like the surface and uh, has been really happy and doing well. And uh, I'm pretty pleased with how the horse is doing. You know, this is the kind of race everyone dreams about. This is the kind of race uh, I read the other day, $9.3 million in earnings. Uh, be the highest assembled group of quarter horses ever loaded into one gate and to be a part of it is, is obviously a, a pleasure you look back at the old days of Justin Old Love and Dashing and Mr. Master Bug and those kind of champion of champions with that kind of depth and to be in a field and have two horses where it's a record setting gate is uh, is obviously a pleasure. Introducing just some of the powerful stallion roster of Lazy E Ranch in Guthrie, Oklahoma. The royally bred son of Corona Cartel, Big Lou, winner of the Grade 1 Los Al Super Derby as a runner. The legendary sire, Corona Cartel. The number two all-time sire of money earners and sire of such runners as Blues Girl 2 and 30 other Grade 1 winners. A leading second crop sire of 2019, Coronado Cartel. Son of legendary Corona Cartel and sire of the Grade 1 Riodosa Picciuti winner, Blue Corazon. 
the grade one winning son of leading sire favorite cartel, Cyber Monday. Winner of the grade one Riados Futurity as a runner, the champion and grade one winning Dulce Sintacha, the son of All American Futurity winning Jessica Candy, and winner of the grade one Texas Classic Futurity as a runner, the AQHA champion and first crop leading sire, he's our secret. Sire, the grade two West Texas Futurity winner, Perry Secret. The grade one Futurity runner up and son of leading sire, Walk Through Fire, Jess Fire Me. Runner-up finisher in the Grade 1 Riadosa Futurity as a runner, which are just some of the sires standing at Lazy E Ranch in Guthrie, Oklahoma. Visit them on the web at LazyERanch.net.